This is how the school feels is appropriate. Parents like Addie Red took to Facebook Friday morning to draw attention to this bus blockade. Please call the school district and ask what the hell is going on. Groveport Madison School District used its own cars to prevent the buses from leaving. The district said it learned the bus company may take the buses to other school districts, which is why it posted the destinations on the windows. A spokesperson for the Peterman Bus Company says the company believes blocking the buses was an infraction of safety protocols. The district says the fire department said it was okay. Alexander Woodson is one of several Peterman bus employees who showed up with no bus to board. I am just completely confused. I, under, I don't understand why they're doing this when there's kids involved. Under the contract, the district says when it terminates a bus contract, it has the option to buy the buses back, which is why it said it blocked the buses from leaving. It turns out the school and the bus company have been at odds for months. Peterman Transportation was notified in April um, of our intent to um, terminate the contract. Um, we filed a breach of contract against the company several months ago. The district says it complained to the bus company about not reporting accidents to the district and it didn't aggressively recruit bus drivers leaving students stranded at the bus stop. Um, we've had thousands of kids that haven't been able to get to school um, because buses didn't show up and thousands of students that have been late every day because buses have run late. During a public hearing last week, the bus company said the district knew there was a bus driver shortage, but added bus routes anyway. We ended up having 15 non-public schools ask for busing. Of the 15, it should have been decided that only four were practical. The school board decided the problems with the bus company could not be overcome and terminated the contract Wednesday night. The district has since hired a new bus company with a projected start date of June 1st. Alexandra Woodson tells us she hopes to remain with the district and believes bus drivers did their best to serve the students. We're trying to do as best as we can with the people that we have. Kevin Landers, 10TV News. Now the Peterman Bus Company tells 10TV the district improperly terminated our contract effective May 30th. We have been informed that the Ohio Department of Education is currently involved and in investigating this manner.